going to show you how to take amazing photos of your baked products with your smartphone. Let's go. So you take your subject. In this case, we have the Oreo cookie chocolate chip cakes. And I'm going to place it onto my surface area. I'll be using a parchment paper and this I have just rumpled up. I place that onto my surface area. And then I begin to arrange the scene. You want to make sure you have cleaned your lens. Okay, that's very key. So you want to take your camera and because we're shooting a, a product that is laying flat, so we want to make sure that our camera or the smartphone is this way. And when I say this way, what I mean is, is not bent. Okay, if it's bent, you risk having uh, a product shot that looks like it's sliding off the table and we don't want that. You want to make sure you're holding it as parallel as possible to um, the subject, okay? And you have this box here to actually guide you. And you can see as I'm going um, a bit off center, you can see that there's a dot that has gone out of the circle. But once I'm back in the correct position, you can see it has signaled, okay? So it's now about moving your camera, okay, and then shooting it like so. So we've created a very lovely scene and I'm just gonna angle my hands a bit. I want this to show, so I'm putting that in slightly. And then we shoot again. Okay, I'll move this a bit. The milk isn't showing. So I'm going to put that in slightly or just probably change its location. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Good. So again, positioning and snapping. So positioning, angling and taking the shot like so. All right, so we want to take another type of angle. This time around, we want to focus on one of the cookies. Okay, so to do that, I might decide to just place a couple of the cookies on top of themselves like so. All right, so have some right there. Have some that I bit broken and just basically lay them on top of one another all right and this time around I'm gonna move my bottle just slightly ever so slightly and then snap okay I'll take it from another angle Okay, I could also take it from this angle, but I need some cookies here. So I'm going to move this just a bit. And you can see these grid lines that I have, these extra lines that are, these extra lines that are showing on the screen, they're called grid lines. And it really just helps us to um, position our camera in a much more befitting way. All right. Now look at that. So just make sure your products are aligned in such a way whereby the grid lines kind of direct you. So I have one on this corner, one on this corner, and then something interesting on this corner as well. Okay. And then we spot on center. And then we snap like so. Okay. And then what's the cooking shots without you actually biting out of your cookies. If you have a cookie with that lovely mouth mark or teeth mark, now I'm going to paste that onto the surface back. 
like so. And then I'm going to increase the exposure. So you see this line showing here. I'm going to tap and then move up. And you can see as I'm moving up, it's getting brighter. As I'm moving down, it's going darker. I'm going to move this a bit more. There we go. So we're just trying to fill in the negative spaces like so. I want this to be here. And I want this just peeping and I want another one that is saying hello just right here. Wow, now we've created a perfect scene. I'll increase the exposure a bit. And you can see it is properly angled. And then I will snap. Okay, there we go. So I have my pictures and this is what they look like. So picture one, picture two, picture, and that's me eating the cookies. <laughs> Lovely. So now it's time to edit the pictures. Okay, so it's now time for us to edit, you know, put some makeup onto the pictures so that they look a lot refined, clean, and a lot more professional. So I'm gonna go straight to Snapseed. I'd love to use Snapseed. It's just absolutely perfect. So we're gonna narrow down to some of the pictures we have taken and um, let me start by taking this one. So, um, you have all these options on the bottom. You have style, tools, and export. So you want to quickly just go to tools and click on prop. So you crop your image. Okay. So what cropping does, it, it just helps you to take off any excess that is not necessary. And in this case, I don't want all that excess but a bit showing. So once I'm happy with it, I click on the check button there and now it's time to have some fun so under tools you want to go to details under details you have sharpen and then as you move it to the right hand side as you kind of put your finger on the screen and you move to the right hand side you see it's having a lot more life you're literally bringing it to life okay but you want to be careful so that you don't overdo it so I would say plus 23 is okay. I don't normally do structure, but let's see what structure will give us. Structure is kind of making it a lot more defined. And just a little bit of structure is fine. About plus 12 just does the trick. And then I check. And then we can go to some tuning. On tuning, I'm okay with how bright it looks. But if I, it was a dark picture and I wanted it to look a lot brighter, I would move it and you can see as I'm going up to 63 it's a bit too much is overexposed so I want to go back down okay let's say to about plus 13 I check that let's do a bit of um, contrast let's see what contrast will give to us yes it's bringing it to life a lot more you check that and then finally I want to do a little bit of saturation now you need to be careful with saturation because if you overdo it, you risk turning your picture into like an orange image and we don't want that. So just a little bit of saturation just to literally bring the colors to life. And I think we're okay at plus 12. And that's it guys. So this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after. Very, very, very minimal editing but it goes a long way. Look at that before and after okay and then once we're done we export we save onto our system and that's it so let's take one more picture go back to open now let's take one of the ones that yes i love this so again we go to tools we go to crop we take off any excess we don't want okay and we check once we've done that, tools again, you go to tune. I think I'm okay with it, with how bright it looks, but we want to give it some more life. So we go to contrast, 
okay you do a tad bit of saturation just a little bit all right and then we do some sharpening go to details sharpen oh look at that literally bringing it to life and then let's do a little bit of structure just a tad bit and that's it and this is the before this is the after and once you're happy with what your pictures look like you export you save onto your, your smartphone and there she goes so now let's go back to our camera go to our gallery all right to see what our finished pictures look like so under the finished pictures we have um, snap seeds. We want to look for snap seed right here, and that's image one, all right, and image two. Lovely, isn't it? And that's it, guys. I hope you learned a thing or two. Thank you so much for watching. And when you do take your pictures and use this same procedure, make sure you tag us on Kicking All the Way, Dainty Affairs, and of course our sponsors, Baker's Choice. Thank you for watching. Bye.